What do you mean you're not gonna pay for my food? Hey, what's going on, guys? Shaq reacts here once again, and today is some crazy clips of the worst dates I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty insane. This man decided to walk away from this catfishing woman. Everybody ready to hear how the shortest first date of my life has gone? So this is what I'm wearing. It's fall times, you know, cute boots, not too bad, whatever. Um, this man, we meet outside, Tinder date, right? We meet outside, meet together. He looks at me up and down and goes, this isn't gonna work. I started laughing because I think he's joking. He does it again, turns on the spot and books it to his car, okay? And I'm standing there just laughing because I think this is a joke. So I go into this brewery by myself and have a beer because this is the reality of my life currently. And uh, he had blocked me by the time I tried to look him up after my first beer, so. How's your dating going? No, unless her pictures look completely different, there is no other reason why this man just walked away. Even though she looks good right now, we still have no idea how those pictures look. So I'm the girl that got proposed to at the Euro store and I did say no. So I'm gonna answer y'all's questions, but I just think it's so funny that there's a video of Taylor going viral where she's like, and I think someone just got engaged and like literally everyone in our section is like, no, 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 no. And like, you can literally see the realization wash across her face where she's like, okay, I think I should change the subject. Like, yeah, girl, like, sorry, that was us. Um, and I just wanted to set the record straight. Like I was not saying no to the man. Like my boyfriend is a love of my life. I'm going to marry him. But I was saying no to the proposal, if that makes sense, because like, it just wasn't specific to me. You know, the girls that get it, get it. Like the location, for instance, being Liverpool, like it's a beautiful place, but it just has no significance to me. And I was like, did you literally just fly me here because it's like the cheapest tour date like i don't understand like why don't we go to paris like the city of love or like somewhere that's significant to our relationship this woman is insanely materialistic and is living in some kind of fairyland world you rejected a perfect proposal with the man you love and see a future with but it wasn't the correct spot this guy should just dump her while he can so i heard my ex was going on his first date with someone new to the restaurant you used to take me to i still love it there i'll actually be there tonight with your ex best friend Hmm, we're gonna get all dressed up, we're gonna look good. Don't stare too much though, we won't say hi. We might kiss, but it's just platonic, like before. But you have fun with your new girl. <laughs> yeah, tell me you're still in love with him without telling me you're still in love with him. Imagine if the roles were switched and a man would do this. He would be an absolute creep. Did you like about Dave? What didn't you like? I thought he was so sweet and like, I know people were like, oh, I don't have a type. Or, like, I actually do not have a type. I was very pleasantly surprised. I could tell immediately I'm 100% not her type. <laughs> I feel like she's looking for someone who's a lot more slick, <laughs> which means they're likely more emotionally unavailable. Yeah! He was very kind. I love a man in therapy, so. <laughs> Even though I'm not. <laughs> I just don't feel she was I don't know, really excited about any of it. Like, I think like when I said, like, yeah, I'm in that show. Oh, wow, that's nice. Do you like her? Right. I like people who like me. Oh. Oh. What a perfect response to a question. You should only be chasing people who are also chasing you. But let's see what else he says about this girl. Have enough confidence in yourself to base your answer off of mine. No, I have confidence in myself. That's not an issue. It was just more so the fact that I didn't feel like, ah, I just, I didn't feel like there was a chemistry oh, right. between oh. us. Fair um, I do appreciate, like, obviously I was very nervous. I feel you were very good at, like, trying to calm me down, ease my nerves, so hmm. thank you for that. There might be someone in the crowd that wants a shot at someone up here. Ooh. I mean, Woo! it's up to them if they're going to allow that. I mean, well, he doesn't seem pretty sold on me, so <laughs> that <everyone's> interested. <laughs> Dave, let's let the people show themselves. <laughs> Yeah, he already knew that he had no chance with her. And instead of him looking like an entire simp in front of everyone, he decided to cut his losses and find someone else, as he should. He 
is dead inside. There is not a thought behind those eyes. There is no way she's worth this level of disrespect. I will never understand why couples do this to themselves. Like at this point, what's the point of being married? There is nothing unique about your relationship. You mean to tell me if we both go to work, and I take care of all the bills, I take care of all the outings, I take care of all the trips, and all you have to do is save and pay for your lifestyle, whatever you wanna do. You mean to tell me I can't have no See, that's why I draw the line. I pay for everything. You a whole little nurse, you get to keep all of your money. You think you gonna go through my phone? Because. Now I'm definitely listening to what this man is saying and that he doesn't want to be the only person contributing to the bills But cheating on your girl or wife just because she won't pay the bills also isn't a good idea at that point Just break up three things like that you would ask me like just based off of the conversation we're having now Like if it were a date? Yeah, because this is technically like a date like a mini date I'm not really sure kind of got a blindfold on so I don't really know what to ask you, you can okay, take a blindfold so I'm off. I'm not your typical 10, so like what are looks like everything to you? Like what is the vibe? Not everything, but it plays a big part. For sure. Well, with that being said, you can take your blindfold off. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely did this man so dirty. I don't know a single person that would have ever accepted this. You're like, why are we here? What? Why are we at Chick fil A? What do you mean? Like, do I look like a Chick fil A? To you, like, why are we at Chick fil A? You, you want me to be completely honest with you? What do you mean, be honest? Like, it's fast food. Like, I, I, I'm not, I'm it's not, not eating just fast this shit. food, it's Chick fil A. It's like peak fast food. Come on, now. okay. But it's our first date, so it's like, not why? A date. I oh was God. going to go get food, and yeah. I asked if you wanted to come with and this, this is where I happen to be going. Broke. So like, now I'm broke. He's broke. Now I'm broke. Okay, I make yeah, more money than your stepfather. Broke. So, like, now. You're be a real man. That pays for everything. Okay, be a real man and you're take it to another to place. So she's trying to control where this man eats, even though he just said she wanted to come along. He's not trying to take you on some fancy date. You're just there for the ride. A bunch of pregnancies. You faked pregnancies? A bunch. With Offset and Cardi B, what was that? That was like the biggest one, but I also faked one with Fetty Wap. That was my first. That's how I got known. He used the one eye on you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> how come you fake pregnancies? I don't know. I was just bored. And this is how women are trying to get attention nowadays. Just pretend you're pregnant from famous people, and suddenly you get a lot of clout. Even me with your own two eyes eating up in a parking lot in front of the crib i'm talking about eating big sucking it up moaning this knock on the window like what you knocking for you see me eating calm your butt down i'll be in there in a minute I'm not sure why she's trying to flex this all over the internet and thinking that so many people are just suddenly gonna side with her on this. You're absolutely disgusting. This girl can't keep her eyes off Sam Sulik while he's posing, and Sam catch her staring at him at the end. There's really not much to see with the rear delts apart from standing. You know, there's no rear delt spread. I think you're good there. So I'm done. Well, not yet, actually. We're gonna do calves. But for the lift that's gonna get clipped, we're done. So I'm gonna go home, eat some, probably some ground beef coupled with some pepper jack cheese slices. I prefer fat free cheese. Now, once again, let's just say we flipped the rolls over here and a man was suddenly recording a woman or just staring at a woman all because she was posing in the mirror. What kind of attention would you guys think that brings? Sad that a lot of these females won't date a guy who lives with his mom, but would instead date a guy who lives with his wife. He is so right, and the simple reason for this is women like what other women want. So if they see you in a happy relationship with another woman, for some odd reason they want a piece of that. Motherfucking females are crazier than a motherfucker, man. Run around your whole teenage life, your 20s, get fucking drunk, get fucked, get fat. 
and then in your 30s expect a motherfucker with an eight inch dick six figure bank account and a six pack to swoop you up off your feet and make your dreams come true you a goddamn fool man now some things are supposed to be said super bluntly and this was definitely one of them are you a trip Tri trip there's two of us so that mean you gotta take care of both of us y'all gotta take care of me it could be vice versa but are you gonna take care of us what y'all gonna do for me is the question we can do a lot we trick back i'm saying y'all gotta trick first though <laughs> <laughs> Why? Aren't you supposed to be the man? Aren't you supposed to the show? The man built for wars and shit. You can't trick first? Mm -mm. What do you want to do? We out. For sure. Damn! Get up out of here. You tricking who? To look after them because there's too many women in Pakistan now and the men have to step up their game and they have to work their butts off and they have to provide for their women. OMG. There's too many unmarried women in Pakistan. So apparently this happened because there was too many single women in Pakistan. This may be the future of America as well. Two dogs. He's from the two suburbs. Dogs. It's two He's dogs. From the suburbs. I, I ain't don't from no mother. Him suburbs. don't got nothing in common. You don't know me. But, talking but, about. but the Sound little female crazy. he got. That's that's the problem. But that little female he got, well, she probably around here somewhere. <laughs> I'll catch up with him. La, 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 Wait, la, hey, la, hey, la. Hey, hey, hey. Little female. Okay. He, Hey, okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that, let's move on. Listen, this is a tremendous fight. And this is exactly why you never date a woman in the streets, because she'll pretty much tarnish and ruin your name for you, and also give your enemies unlimited ammo. Well, firstly, I should have never agreed to a gym date. Oh. Oh. Why is that? I'm in shape. I'm happy with my body, but I don't really work out regularly. Oh. And... Well, it seems like Matt is not happy with my body and thinks I should be working on it. Well, well no, 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 no. Listen, listen, we can all be better. And I just, I just think we all need to work on ourselves. I didn't, I didn't think anything negative. Matt, <laughs> yeah, you said to another trainer, she has great muscle memory. I bet if I work her out, she can get rid of some of that fat. Well, th yeah, but yeah. that's true. You can. I don't want to lose weight. Oh. And it sounds like you're talking about like a horse or something. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. To be fair, all right. To be fair, you don't see any fat horses, do you? Wow. So, do I agree with this guy is doing? Absolutely not. I'm sorry. It's perfectly fine to tell your woman to work out if you guys were dating when she was skinny and she just kind of lost her way along the relationship. But if you're trying to change a woman right when meeting her, that's just wrong. Go find another woman. You can't change anyone. How your day going? What you eat today? Let me know some. I eat nothing. Send me some money. Send you some money? I ain't eat nothing. Send me some money. Girl, look. Let me tell your ball weave ass something. You talk about sending you some money. Send a goddamn edge up slate, and then we can talk. Okay, helpful? Other than that, helpful? I don't want to hear it. Yes, oh, Lord. Okay? Understand that. <laughs> my ideal job is being the girl on this app who has giant bazongas and she just jumps on a jump rope that's every tiktok she's just jumping on a jump rope and she's got her comments turned off she's racking up the likes just collecting money jumping rope is this woman really envious of an only fans chick selling her body online i don't think anybody agrees with her how do you make a man happy i feel like it's taking care of them feeding them and reassuring them. I feel like men don't get reassured enough. Would you sign a prenup? Yeah. 100%? 100%, I don't care. If the guy was a multimillionaire. I do not care about money. Marriage is for love. Would you make uh, OnlyFans? Absolutely not. Even if it made you a millionaire? Nah, I have respect for myself. Yeah, this woman's an absolute dime and she needs to get wifed up ASAP. Finally, we have a woman who's not delusional. These girls, by the way, are enjoying the sex that they're having right. at 19, 20, 21. They're not enjoying it. Why? Because they're sleeping with idiots. They're mm -hmm. just sleeping with men for the sake of sleeping with men. They're just fucking any guy they meet in a club. It's disgusting. And the reason they're not enjoying it is because they can't, because they're not built that way. You right. can't enjoy sex with a random man. You can't enjoy sex. He might be so gorgeous. He might be objectively speaking the most, the sexiest man you've ever seen. You're just not going to enjoy having sex with him because there's no emotional connection. Mm -hmm. And nobody talks about this. The girls are just rushing to sleep with as many men as possible. I'm um, saying, oh yeah, it was amazing. It was, you know, and I'm like, really? Mm -hmm. like, like I'm speaking to my other friends. I'm like, really, is she telling the truth? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you know? Just so I completely agree with her on this. And I'm also willing to say that I really do hope men function the exact same way. Men benefit absolutely nothing from sleeping with multiple women other than wasting so much time and money. Yes, it may be enjoyable at the time, but you are sacrificing so much more than that where it just becomes a complete waste of time. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers.
not gonna pay for my food. For the last time, I'm only paying for myself. I thought we agreed that you would pay. Lady, who even are you? Now, I know this is just a skit and it's a joke, but this happens quite often where a bunch of women will actually go out trying to look pretty and all and trying to get other men to pay for their meals just by starting a conversation. But yeah, that does wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do want more content just like this, please watch the videos you guys see at the top screen. It does my channel a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.